This was not here a little bit ago. Oh well. We're going. This is probably not to be trusted, Mrs. Heather. Huh? It's going this way. Nothing over there. Um, okay. I'm expecting you're gonna get trapped in or something. Alright, over here. And then deeper in. That's gonna open. Yep. I'm like expecting to get trapped in here or something due to how these are like all being manipulated. That's not it. So I guess it's over here. And a door. Okay, we run around it. And now we got shut in. Which is obviously the best sign. Let's go this way. Dead end. Ahead, not dead end, or is dead end, but it's made a dead end. I don't even really know at this point. Dead end. What the freaking hell? And now that opens up. I, I really, this is actually playing on, I guess, a subtle fear of mine. Now I can't even mix it all the way. But it's a. Uh, yeah. I, it's not claustrophobia, it's just this thing about being trapped, I guess. And this one is yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, I... We have the same symbol, so yeah. I... The picture. This one doesn't make my head hurt when I look at it. But I know this one. It must be. What the hell? Was I daydreaming? That was part of Lisa's videotape from Silent Hill 1. No, it was more like watching a video in a dark room. But that nurse, I know her. Yeah, that's Lisa from Silent Hill 1 and Silent Hill Oranges. Lisa, who was so heavenly towards me in that hellish hospital room. She did get a little weird though. Cause she was a drug at, wait. Sir, pa yep, there's a path here where that symbol was. Guess we're going down it to another door. Deep, heavy breathing works for me and a ladder to climb. Where to climb? To the top, of course. Where else would we go? Uh oh, we're in another world. So that smiling face, that was back in the other other world, too. Hey! Monster right there! You're aware that you're all over the opening movie for this game, right? You're that monster who does nothing but for some reason crazily pulls levers. Why do you do it? I have no freaking clue, but you have seemed to have a fun time doing it, so do your good job! Keep on working. Keep on trolling. Scrolling, whatever it is you do. I want to see what the weird thing looked like. Go back down, Heather. Oh, no, no, not like that, not like that. Just climb. There you go. Because I want to see what this was. What is that? Like a nurse? I can't tell what that is exactly. Let's just go straight up. Alright, so door here. No, over there. Oh, wait, no, there's a door over there. Got it. Your monster noise, this is really loud. What the freaking hell was that? No, don't go down, but I swear to God, I saw a monster or something crawl past. Just settle me. Is it gonna go this way? Uh. Oh, jeez. Hold the train camera. 
walls are definitely alive with magic today, though. Walls are alive with magic. Ah, da, da, da. Left, right, every which direction. I doubt I need to check this out. I like to avoid touching this kind of thing if I can. It looks like there's a piece of meat or something on the ground. Yikes. Is that, is that a door? I can't tell what's a door or not around here. Definitely looks different. I can't tell if it's a monster over there or not. I thought I saw something crawling against the wall, but I guess I didn't. Whatever the case, it's going crazy still. still. You can barely hear? It's a very, very, very loud uh, song, I'll say that much. It's locked? I guess that was a freaking door. It doesn't look like a door, but I guess it acts as one. Okay. We're at a room that looks almost like a living heater. That will work for what we need to do. Through it. Go, Heather, go! Can I cross? No, you don't. Heather, Heather you don't want to fall off a cliff again. That was not a very nice experience. I very much doubt you want to live through it again. Which means probably this. Yep. Single door. Other side of the room. Right past the door. There you guys are. Ah, hell. Those things are tough. They're faster and tougher than their brethren. They're more bloody, too. Yeah, oh, it's, a, it's a dead end. It's a dead end. Pass. I'm trying to think about the wee huggers that my phone at the moment. Hey, at least the elevator was working. I'm gonna turn on the game's audio for a sec. I can't change turn on the game's audio for a second. Give me a second then. Control delete, start task manager. I'll turn the game's audio down just for a second because the music here is pretty freaking loud. Hopefully that's good enough. Oh, I need to actually change something. So it's still gonna be lagging. You move this down. And hopefully that's good enough. So we have another one of these elevators to mess with. I'll open up the doors and see where I can go. Outside raised by these guys. No, 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 look at look, 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 seriously, what the fuck at? Let me use this again. Run by if I can, just a free rabbit. Hmm. That's kind of interesting, I guess. So uh, there's a difference between the world. Oh, 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 actually, it's spilling out out of there into here. Well, that's kind of weird. Uh, oh, the you and the you and the image is uh, getting covered by this stuff by Mrs. Heather. Uh, oh, oh, it's sinking into this world. I think you should watch out for that stuff, Miss Heather. Um, oh, the you and the picture is already like completely consumed by this. I should probably get going from here. This doesn't look like it's gonna go well for me, Miss Heather. Heather? Uh, you know what? I I think... Heather, Heather, the reflections are following you anymore. Heather? Heather, this is probably not where you're gonna be going to. This probably isn't what we should be doing. Uh, I, I'm gonna... Is it going up us? Heather, your legs, your legs are, your legs are being... I, I, I should probably leave this room. This room does not look like a good room. I'm out. I'm out. Oh, that room almost killed me. Okay. Is that there? We're good. Run through there. That room is now unlocked. Um, this is only quiet. Lock is broken. God, how about this door? That room is actually open. Oh, it's the heater room I was at earlier. I see. Everything goes round circles. Okay. Without breaking the heater. Uh, let's break on to... We're on floor two right now. There's also basement floor. Let's try floor three? No, one? Okay, one will work. Where are those crawling things all over the place? 
Lock is broken. Let me look at my map. Okay, I'm around here right now, so let's just try everything and see what works and what does it. My guess, most will probably not work. Oh, I don't even get a chance to react. That That's just... That, that's just me. No, no, stop it. I, I see, I know you guys are all excited and everything, but not the right time or place, really. Oh, wait, that's a nurse. I broke out before the nurse got me. That is fortunate. Though this room looks almost completely empty. What's in here, then? Uh, this is a whole lot of nothing. That's okay, I can live with a whole lot of nothing. Right, more doors to check out. Broken. Not ah, cheap. I don't know how many times I've been knocked around over this area. Uh, there we go. Another area I can say that apparently. There's a memo here on the chart. From Dr. McKiff. Please use extra caution with the patient in room 312. He should still have his religious freedom here in the hospital, but he shouldn't push his faith on others. I'm a victim too. Rumor has it he got here by stabbing someone over a religious dispute. Please be careful. R. Crosby. P.S. It looks good. It looks like the rumors is true. According to the head nurse, I do think he's a good person. Otherwise, though, easy to deal with. All right. I'll take this opportunity to save my game. I'm gonna save my game. We will save there. Cool. Cool. Cool, cool. And breaking out spot again. I should probably get away from that nurse before I start getting into the hassle. I was reading. I was reading. It's a dead end. Jesus! Everything wants to fucking kill me here. Right, well, obviously it's the other world, so the other world is not a happy place. But I'd like to at least think I stand part of a chance. Stupid nurses everywhere. That one has a gun again. Uh, I checked all these rooms, right? Okay, keep on marching. Uh, I should check, uh, start out with this door, that one's broken, that's broken, that's broken, I'm over here, broken, locked, like not broken, but locked, okay, and another room of exploration, it sounds like there's more nurses in here, oh, it's a nurse on the other side of this, and a file to read. The world, okay. the world is deeming with unnecessary people. It's God's decision that I fight as a knight of honor and as a protector of the seal. I sacrifice myself to the blood of criminals. Uh, okay, that's uh, who wrote this? Some twisted individual, eh? I see this, and I want to ask him. So you think you're the one of the necessary ones? But it seems like I've heard this protector of the seal business somewhere else before. Alright, break through this way. Ah, okay. Excuse me, gun enemy. No, no, no. Run, Heather, run. Broken. Oh, oh, that's a dead end, that's a dead end. Uh, I'm gonna zigzag through here. Don't get shot, do not get shot. Let's go this way. Things are pretty chaotic in Netherworld Hospital land. So let's break on to basement floor number one. Guess not basement floor number two. Guess not basement floor number three. There we go. You just gotta go lower and lower, like lowering your stakes if you're trying to bid on something. Or more like high raising the stakes, so you raise, not lower. Okay, a hospital. Cool. Okay, there's patients here with numbers. There's a memo here. Let's see. The Black Rook is the praying sort who hears the gods in the skies. His whisper petitions go on without end. And glassy and dim are his eyes. Cool. Over here is nine. Do they all have memos? Or only that one? Here's a memo here. Let's see. The wren with pure heart is yet unrefined. Makes us laugh with his feeble lip smacking. But still we all know he shall never grow old. And he knows not how much he is lacking. Oh boy. Number zero has no memo. So I guess number. Oh wait, yes it does. It's just in a different place. Here's a memo here. Let's see. The kite, hot, crazy, and panting, mad, sweet shackles that tease and excite. 
Death itself would drive him wild. Red blood that turns milky white. We go over this area. This is number six. This familiar. Let's see. The doves hope died. He chose his path. His flapping wings fell still. Drenched in scarlet, here they lay. His cheeks pale, white and chill. All right. Uh, here is number two. The owl, who forgot the sky, resigned to his poor earthbound state. Hungry or full, didn't matter at all. He ate and he ate and he ate. All this rhyming. Uh, this is patient number... Can't tell. Needs to turn around. Five. This is a memo. The lark's child lost all his words. He wailed himself up all the way. Heart and mouth both locked up tight in a cage where none want to stay. Alright, uh, there's nothing here for four. Cock Robin, who hid the key away, is ash in the oven, alright. The place he held is empty now, and the doors remain shut tight. In three, we have... The grass, the... Okay, the grass the thrust so loved to eat gave him sweet happiness... He sank ever deeper and finally fell to destruction and fatal distress. That does not rhyme at all. Now if we go over this way, seven. He seeks out her soul by his own, blackened ambition, frightening her out of her wits, whispering love songs into her ear. What cruel limit wants he gets? That didn't rhyme either. Some of these seem to have rhymed, but like gave up on that or something. Okay, number one. Who killed Cock Robin? The sparrow, they said. He wants them all dead. To him, honey sweet is their sobbing. Alright, now let's see the central piece. It's probably a combination. Oh boy. Is there any other more pieces to the riddle? Because I don't get this yet. We'll go back for a second. Oh, there's something written here. All right, let's read. <sighs> Burn the one who knows no death. Pure adore by those above. No prayers within, just simple love. And now the pending hunter, the flames longing for his rebirth, the distant breath within the earth. Burn up the heavy body of his, make it win, dancing in the sky, the bottomless gut, now a cloud, now a sigh. The sweet blood on his laughing lips now calls him to the gates of hell. There burns evermore that soulless shell. Four bodies return to ashes, thus the door is open, thus the door is opened. Yeah. Good ol' puzzle time. So, figuring out this puzzle I can already tell is gonna be a fucking pain, but that's part of the fun, right? It's my fault for choosing hard difficulty in Silent Hill 3 puzzle mode, which I heard previously was fucking brutal. Ah oh, well. Stretch for a second. Seems like we have a challenge coming on, and that's a okay with me. I just saved my game, I'll save it again if I need to, but I know what I need to do, so I want to go to floor 2, and I want to see what happens in that uh, special room. Let's see what that leads us to. I'm, I'm just curious what will happen. Curiosity killed the cat and all that, but that's okay. We haven't done much else after we saved last time. Let's turn over this way. Here we go. It should be this room. This room right here. Uh... The lock's been broken, superficially. I haven't been in here though. It isn't ringing. This isn't locked that's ringing. Let's hit this one. Who are you? Oh, OK. 
Okay, thanks. Happy birthday, dear, who are you? Happy birthday to you. Happy 31st birthday. Is this Leonard? That's the murderer's name, not my name. I'm not your beloved Stanley either. He's underground now. His new name is Number Seven. <laughs> but don't worry about that now. It's time to celebrate your birthday. You've got me mistaken for someone else. Today's not my... I'm not mistaken. Today is your 24th birthday. And I have a present for you. Which do you prefer? To give pain or to receive it? You can have the one you hate the most. <laughs> Happy birthday to you! But you're wrong. It's not my birthday. Huh. I think I get it, though. There's nothing coming from the receiver. Uh, there are no cords going in or coming out of the phone. Okay, there's nothing special in here, which means we can break back out. And it's only monsters. Why did I explore this area earlier? Uh, there's one of those creepy foes again. Uh, why, hello there! How's it rolling for you? Something strange is cooped up in the locker. I think I'm safe, but I shouldn't get too close. Actually, the more I look at it, the more pitiful it seems. Like a child locked up in there with no chance of escape. Should we put out this misery? Nope. Can't even hit it. Well, enjoy your time in Mr. Locker, was that say? There's a paper bag here with nothing but garbage inside. As I said, Silent Hill, Town of Pollution number one. See you later, locker guy. I'm going. Wait, wait, is there something in here? I got a plastic bag. What the hell do I need a plastic bag for? And the health drink. There's nothing important in the trash. No use digging around there anymore. What do I need a plastic bag for? Look through here. Wait, it'd be my items, right? A totally ordinary transparent plastic bag. This is from a trash can in the locker room. Do I have any other items? Could I combine? No, that would just equip that. Uh... Nope, there's not a plastic bag for no reason. Right now I go. Lock is broken. Uh, 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 no, no, ow. Ow, okay. Get up, Heather. Need to avoid the crawling thing. Uh, lock's broken, that's okay. La ah, I, I need to go, I need to go. Get back up, get back up. We have another one. Alright, let's go supplies, use that. They are just on top of me today. Run, run, run. I know those things are vicious, but still. Let's look at my map for a second. Is there anything I've forgotten around here? Uh, apparently I haven't really visited this floor much. Is there anything in the day room area? Uh, there was absolutely nothing over there, in fact. Anything else I can think of? I've been to the second floor, I've been to the third floor. Oh, it was the third floor I need to go to for my special surprise. Fuck! These things! The worst part is because how the camera's positioned. I can turn it like that, so I guess that'll make it a little bit easier, but yeah. I... Break it there. Back to the first floor, since I apparently need to save my game. First floor. Going down, down, da 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 da. I know enemies to watch out for. I'll swing around the bend. One of those things. Things are getting pretty crazy around here. Good opportunity to save my game. In case anything goes south. Okay, good and good. And back in the hell. Who are you, you crazy spazzing out creature? 
Now that I want to check out floor number three. Oh, gee, no, 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 ow. Uh, uh, uh. And like this. You guys said something, yeah, but my like, yeah. Ah, okay, you know what? I'm just going to run past you guys. Excuse me, nurses. Back out to the elevator I go. And now, time to do the thing I should probably not do, but I want to do, which I guess is on floor three, though I swear I was on floor two, so I wonder why the hell... I can floor two seemed different when I went there again. Why it seemed different? What happened? What's changed? Okay, I think it's this. Here we go. I shouldn't do this, but I want to. You know, this room doesn't look that bad. Uh, it's no longer happening. To people who just got here and don't know what I'm talking about with this room, what happened last time I entered in here, there's a really creepy scene. Wait! What's that noise? Sounds like something should be happening, but I don't see anything. Going back in in case something went wrong or something. It's like I heard the noise to it, but I didn't actually see it happening. Weird. Uh, this room does take your health away. I already figured that out. I'm gonna wait here for a second and wait till it kills me. Apparently, Katana ain't around. Let's see, run way over this way. Because what happened last time is there was a really creepy scare going on while this was going on, but I'm gonna wait a few moments though for this to happen. I wonder what the graphic looked to it went though. If it starts popping out of that, then I know it's still happening. Da 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 spin. Gotta pay attention to my health every once in a while. That also looks like it's halfway decent. Ah, uh, but the creepy the creepy stuff that happened with it is not happening this time. Walking around in circles. That doesn't seem to be going anywhere right now. Because last time there was creepy things going on in the mirror room and then in my room and it started seeping in here. That's a shame it's not happening this time. I was kind of thinking it was going to kill me too. Oh, it's not really seeping the way my health doesn't seem. Looks like an ordinary mirror. Ah, well. For another time, spin, spin, turn. I'll do it like this to make it easier for myself. Oh, I can't save or load in here. Interesting. Let me break into here then. Now I can load my save file. Which is good because I want to start from here so I don't waste getting hit around by a few nurses. Now we have the puzzle to take care of which is inside the basement involving all the numbers. I might need some help with this. However though, uh, before I get the straight up answer, I'd like to work with people who don't know the answer. Or if you know the answer, I don't mind some hints, I guess, because I have no to start with this one. Well, if we're talking about Al, I know that Al is the second to last one. I think it's 9271. Okay. We got it. All right. So, okay, yeah. I won't take it. It's not what I was guessing at all. I got a cremated key. Good for me. Okay, now with the cremated key, if I'm pretty correct on my map, I, there was a locked door. Where was it? That was open. The area that would actually need a lock key was on the first floor. 
the day room. Okay, according to this, it was on the first floor day room, which I guess is gonna probably, oh, I think I see how that would work. I also didn't try a few things on this, that floor though, so uh, let's go to the first floor day room. This should be helpful. So the first floor, and then we should break off to the day room in just a moment. Going up. That's be right behind us. So not that well, I took a wrong turn at someone. Silly nurses coming at me. They think they can catch me, but they'd be wrong. I just an egg and we're pre-made it. I'm over here, a ninja sword. Come closer and I dare you to try and beat my ninja sword abilities. Uh that's fine. Okay now we'll start kicking her while she's down on the ground, because of course we have to make her feel bad about herself. This is a lot of kicking. A whole lot of kicking. And the best part is, there's something over here. It's like a book over there, but I can't quite... Oh wait, no, the, I get it. This is the room I entered in through another door, right. Now we're inside. Oh, okay, oh hell. Lock broken. Gee, I hate these things. Get up, get up. I hate these fucking crawlers in hell. Whatever the fire hurts. Right. Just running at this point. Around the corner. I can't tell what's a door and what's not really. Uh, that's cool, but I can stop on these things. No, 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 no. Look at my map. No, 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 no. Stop it. Let me look at my map for a second. Uh, there's a door right next to me. I guess I'll try that. Ah, jeez. Oh, there we go. And fucking finally. So we have a healing item or something. I guess I can save here for a second. I'd like to save there. And see where we're ending up. So this is some sort of ritual room, I can tell that much. Uh, I guess we're gonna look right into the fire. The towel has lost memories. One characteristic mentioned only in rare documents and dying now in the modern age is that of the ritual sacrifice. Offering prayers pierce a man's chest with a copper stake, drench the altar in the blood which spouts red from the heart to praise and thus show loyalty unto God. In another sacrificial rite mentioned in the same book, the victim is burned alive. This was a more dignified ceremony in which prisoners and sinners were not allowed to participate. Only the clergy could be sacrificed. Similar to burning at the stake, no comparable rite can be found in religions practiced nearby. It may have some connection with the main deity being a sun god. Even though his religion extols a redemption, it brings to mind a dark and cultish history. Okay. Ritual time. There's a stretcher here. Not just for your usual stretcher, this is more like an altar of some sort. Lit candles, a knife, and is that blood I smell? Do they worship that picture? Or something in that picture? And there's a knife or something here. Those candles didn't light themselves, now did they? Probably a very true point. Do I have anything in my inventory that could potentially help with this? My items. I'll use a health drink for the moment. Uh, no. As I said, my bet is that I probably missed something or some weird thing like that on the third floor. At least that's one thing. Uh, that's one banking on, and hopefully it's something which is worth banking on, or else it's gonna be turn back around. Go to the third floor. Run to here. Okay, so a few things I need to check. 
few rooms, more so. No. Fucking all these monsters. Break through here. Okay, so a few different rooms to check here. According to my map, I need to check, uh, first of all, S3. Should be about there. Is this S3? This is S, yeah, this was S3. I guess there's a save point right here, I didn't realize it. Any other items here besides that? Hanging bullets, hanging bullets. The hand outside the window. Just a hand. And the save point I can't utilize, so yeah. I... Which means that the other option is probably around the bend. Okay, I haven't checked the examine room yet. Here we go, this was something. What's in here? Dripping with blood. There's a dead body hanging from the ceiling. The blood dripping from its totally filled with a bucket said out below. Who would do this and for what? Looks like a full out bloodletting. Let me guess what I need to do. Grab it with this. I put some blood in the plastic bag. I got a plastic bag of blood. Why thank you, dead body hanging there. I knew if something I didn't get somewhere, so let's see. S4 is the only other place I haven't checked. Which, no S4 and S6, both. So now I know S4 is not anything. Pass by S5. And my next X6, passed it actually. Is this it? Yep, it's nothing. Okay, so now we have the blood. Maybe I can actually do this. There's only one other area I need to check. And that's the little room right over there. But probably there's nothing. Huh. This, uh, I'll take this route. This is not what I meant to go towards. But this will probably help me get to where I need to go. Actually, more than the pet path I meant to take. So I go through here and take the long way out. Throw my left. I need to test it. Good to know it's locked. Let's go this way. Alright, now that I have the blood bucket, if I return to the first floor, will I be able to take advantage of it? That's a tricky question. I guess we're about to find out. Down, down, da 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 da. Oh boy. I think we're going the wrong way. Oh jeez. I have Ryan's exact switch so doesn't shoot me. And there we go. Just need to be careful of all the bodies laying around. And the weird growling. And these fucking things. It's these things I care the most about not being hit by. They fucking annoy this shit out of me. Fucking hell, I hate you. Where'd the nurse come from? Alright, almost the end. Now put the blood bucket on. I'd like to save my game for a second just to make sure I don't die if anything bad happens. And there we go. And now the alternative to this would be to go and use the blood bucket. I have blood just for you. To the hole I go. I have been climbing a lot of ladders today.
Leonard, where are you? Thank you. Now I can finally leave here. Now Claudia's ridiculous dream is over. Well, I guess it's time to dispose of her for the salvation of all mankind. <laughs> Why must we reward even the unbelievers? What are you talking about? About our plans, of course. It's true that God is merciful, but first, one must be chosen. Only we, who hearken to the voice of God, will be given the keys to paradise. Don't you think so, Peter? Yeah, sure. Go ahead and think whatever you want. What do you mean by that? I mean that I don't think the way you guys do. I don't want any part of that kind of paradise. You're an unbeliever. You deceived me. I didn't deceive you. We were both just wrong about each other. I thought you were a normal person. So you tried to trick me so you can run off with my seal, eh? Heretic! You plan to destroy God! I told you I wasn't trying to trick anyone. What is this seal thing anyway? Don't play innocent. You can't fool me anymore. The seal is mine! I was appointed by God to be its guardian! The only thing you'll get from me is a gruesome death. You're not a person anyway. Let's get ourselves ready for this battle. Uh, I'm going to equip the shotgun. First I'm going to reload, then I'm going to equip it, so let's do this thing. No, no, not like that, not like that. Stupid. There it is. A uh, bit of a misser. Kind of slow, actually, except for when it's swimming. How am I? I know I have to shoot it, but there you are. Just shotgun it right now. Uh, try and trick me, you go. Let's see if we're gonna hit with uh, katana or this. Or no, 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 no. Let me equip this weapon and see if that'll do anything good right now. Ah, hell. I tried, and I failed. So now let me equip my shotgun again. Reload that and equip it. You don't get many very shotgun shells around here. Where the hell did Leonard? Oh, they're high, Leonard. Want to get back up for now? Or are you good swimming? He's a good swimmer. You gotta prepare for that. Alright, let me get closer. And then equip myself the malice. Uh, then him with this. Guess that did not work. He'll swim back up in a second. Uh, let me equip my shotgun. Quit and reload. Leonard, Leonard. I like how I'm Le Le Leonard, okay? I know his name is Leonard, but still. Uh, 
Uh, where is he gonna pop out from this time? Ah, you. You fall away too easily from this thing. Get back up. Ah, oh, I knew you were gonna do something like that. Come on. I'll give it a second. There he is. Come on out when you're ready, Leonard. Come on. Is there so am I supposed to do something with that or am I just trying to shoot him enough? I wonder if I'm trying to tr trying into one of those giant spiral things over there. Ah, uh, you don't want to fall towards that. Am I supposed to just be shooting him, or is there more to this that I'm not realizing? I'm gonna wait a second, but there you go. Good time to reload. Leonard, you can come out of the water so I can figure out what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing with you. Let's see. Where is he? There you are. And I already shot him. You think it'll be done soon? <laughs> I'm just keeping him right here. And he swam away. Silly Leonard. And shoot. And shoot again. Seriously, how? When do you die? Did I come up to you and press D? Leonard. Maybe I'll just walk up to him and step on him or something. Like a regular Silent Hill monster. None of the boss that made me do the fuck. No, 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 no. Let me heal, let me heal. Supplies, use. Oh, he's dead. Leonard's not here anymore. I guess I should head back to the motel now. I hope Douglas is okay. Huh? What's this? PK. Something quickly. You're actually the one who confused me. I knew it was pronounced Leonard, and I was pronouncing it at first, and he said I was pronouncing it wrong, so then I said Leonard, and then I was like, what? The... I've heard it pronounced both Leonard and Leonard, but I used to say it like Leonard, but then you make me say it like Leonard, because you thought, you made me think I was wrong. I was like, what? I got a talisman. The key is free from there. And let's see where we're going. Flashlight on. Is there anywhere else on the map? There's one of the places I haven't checked, but it's not going to be open. It's going to be this area right here. Yep, and locked like everything else in Silent Hill. I just have to change my gun because I do not want to be wasting my items right now. Reload that. But I'm going to switch over. Good, reload that. Reload this. Reload all my guns. Ah. 
let's uh, equip this again. My I guess my katana is like currently my favorite weapon or something. Now, if we break out. Yeah, we're supposed to go to the first floor and out of here. Yeah, we're supposed to meet up with Douglas after the hospital, though wasn't he the one going to look out for Leonard? But if he... If I found Leonard, so what was Douglas doing? 